I was on a plane uh, in the month after I graduated college in like a pit of depression when I decided to first try therapy for the first time. Uh, mm-hmm. I was watching uh, that show In Treatment on uh, the little screen oh, on the back yeah, of the coach yeah. flight that I was in <laughs> and just watching Gabriel Byrne listen to, you know, his patients or whatever. And uh, right. I was just like, man, you know, this is something that I should really pursue and see where it takes me. But, you know, since then, you know, it's maybe 15 years ago or more. Mm-hmm. Um, I've worked with uh, maybe three or four therapists and, uh, you know, I, uh, I try to use my best judgment when, um, and, and, you know, the advice of hopefully somebody who's had some kind of like contact or like experience with them when uh, deciding who my person's going to be, but it's very, been very flying by the seat of my pants, uh, picking a therapist. And I just thought I'd, um, bend your ear, Tom, about like, you know, what, what are the criteria and like, how do we, you know, begin that journey of finding the right person? I say there's as many different kinds of therapy as there are therapists. If a therapist acts like you're supposed to trust me just because I'm a therapist, you know, move on because, because the truth is any, any, any good therapist, any good person who, who understands that this is based on trust is, is going to know that, that no, you're going to, you're going to learn, we're going to figure out together whether or not, you know, we trust each other. The primary function of medicine, it's not curative, it's pastoral. It's, you know, the doctor mm-hmm. will walk with you into whatever darkness awaits. Yeah. And uh, I've, I, you know, shouldn't therapy is kind of an extension of that, right? It's, it's a bit of a combination depending on what somebody's showing up for therapy. People can be so open to that, to basically uh, the old expression of it's a journey, not a destination. I have discovered to where, where they actually don't have enough re- expectations of the therapist. That that they that they, they, they sort of let us off the hook if we if we take advantage of that and and the idea well I because they'll say like well I know I know this you know I'm not this isn't gonna change anything you know da, 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 and I'm going and I'm going like well no you should have expectations of me as a therapist now I. I, I appreciate you keep the expectations, you know, in line with reality. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna heal you from anything instantly, but you should expect results. If the therapist has trouble with with honesty, with that being sharing about themselves, then you got a problem there too. Because so I, you know, one of the things that I've all I would, you know, I learned early on, I would never go to a therapist who'd never been in therapy, for instance. I want somebody who who has not just studied the maps, but who has actually been in the jungle. If you want to get to that place where it's you can just bring your raw material in there. You know, for instance, one of the things that that it, it's people will come around to, and sometimes I, they they they're, they're a while getting to it, but they'll say, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. They hesitate because they think they're getting ready to hurt your my feelings as a therapist. And of course, my response to that one is that is a great question. We should be asking that one every single time you walk in here because that's going to help us stay focused. You know, and 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 basically, you know, then it'll take you know it'll take us to a place where the 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 uh, client is becoming a more uh, well well just more educated consumer. So the idea is so. T- tell me what tell me what it is that you feel like you ha- you came in here wanting that you're not that you don't feel like you're getting you know and and it's like so we'll talk about that and it's like you know sometimes it may be just uh, I'm missing I'm missing a point or I didn't see see something coming uh sometimes it may be we look at the the the, the client had an expectation that was not particularly realistic you know whatever it happens to be but we work through it together it's like that's one of the reasons I love working with this, with my my model of intrapersonal, um, the, the intrapersonal change process because because it really is that's where I want to go. I want I want to go kind of be the consultant to their inner committee. My dad um, was seeing a therapist for I think some anger issues at one point, uh-huh. and um, ended up seeing this guy and like had very like positive um, words to say about him. But then at Mm -hmm. one point, I think he just decided, like, because of the age difference, you know, my dad, I think, was in his 50s at the time Mm -hmm. he was going. And then this therapist was a younger man, like, I think it may be in his late 20s, or early 30s. And I think Mm -hmm. he just felt like the gulf was too big between, like, his therapist lived experience and his own. I've been to lots of therapists in my life. And uh, my my favorite way to say it is most of it I volunteered for. Almost all of it uh, I, I benefited from. Sometimes with a therapist, you run your course. And I really encourage people not to not just understand that therapy is a resource that exists for us all, 
that, you know, it's not a matter of, you know, you, you go to therapy and then you finish therapy and you never have to go, you never go to therapy again. You know, it's like everything's fixed. It's like, well, no, you know, you, hopefully you, you're more educated. You know what, know what to look for. And maybe, you know, and I have many clients after all these years that, that I used to work with on a regular basis for sometimes years that I don't see very often, but every now and then they'll contact me and say, I need to come in for a tune-up. I call it the old family doctor model. At this age right now, if I went back to therapy, you know, more than likely I would definitely be with, with, a, uh, with a younger therapist. And I can imagine that I would need to talk about that out loud. 